The value menu, guys, get loud, get loud for Josh Lake! What's up, everybody? How you doing? Hey. Fantastic. Uh, anyone here have, like, a friend who's very explicit about their sex life? Like, they're always oversharing details and never asked for? It's the worst. Ask somebody, he's like, hey, man, how's your weekend? He was like, Oh, bro, I was hitting my girl from behind and uh, stuck my finger in her asshole. So warm and tight. It's disgusting. I was so uncomfortable. So, yeah, I just reminded him, I was like, hey, you know, you date my sister. And, uh... <laughs> so, uh, if you can't tell on my face, I'm Asian. Uh, Asian American, be specific. And, you know, my mom, she immigrated from South Korea. Uh, met my dad in Oklahoma, a white guy. And, they fell in love, got married, had three kids. So I remember growing up thinking it was like super special and sweet, you know, different cultures, different language even, but like they were able to fall in love and raise a family together. And you know, my mom was really cool. She wanted to give us like a traditional American upbringing, so she got a divorce. And, uh, <laughs> after the divorce though, it was kind of weird sometimes. Like it could just be my father and me at the playground. And I just remember like as a kid, I always felt just really uncomfortable because my dad was this big white guy and I was just a small little Asian kid. <laughs> Like, we didn't look like father and son. We just looked like an Amber Alert. <laughs> and what's weird, even like more unsettling, is like never once did anyone try to rescue me. There's kind of like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, My dad, he, he did date as he should after uh, they split up with my mom. You know, the first woman he dated was a Chinese woman. The second woman was Thai. And the third was another Chinese woman. So it wasn't real love, it was just my dad's Asian fetish that <laughs> brought him together. Now my dad, he is, a, he is a character though, you know, he, uh, he chews Copenhagen religiously, he dropped out of high school twice, he uh, has Ozzy tattooed on his knuckles, he's also like the biggest pothead I know. And growing up like a dad as a pothead is interesting because you learn a lot of stuff. Like there's three kinds of smart, you got book smart, street smart, and drug smart. And all drug smart means is you're really good with the metric system. <laughs> I was doing homework all the time as a kid, just coming behind me. That's 10 grams. <laughs> I'm writing an essay, Dad, how's that help me? <laughs> now, ironically though, I, I don't smoke weed. I've never even tried it. This wasn't for me. My drug of choice, uh, you know, I like to get high on life. And, I know it's corny, it's, it's silly, but uh, let me tell you, I feel like it's just as bad as heroin, because I wake up every day so fucking miserable. <laughs> I keep sucking random people's dicks for more. <laughs> My wife really hates that part. <laughs> Speaking of my wife, you know, this week we just had our one year anniversary. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's not going well. <laughs> we made a mistake. Uh, no, I, oh, oh, another We'll talk after. Uh, no, I, I love my wife. She's so wonderful. She's super sweet and endearing and really supportive. And uh, one of the things I love about her is, you know, she's very outgoing and one real like cute thing, she really likes characters. It's like even just recently we were in Central Park, we got character. But the thing is like she's like white and blonde, so for her it's like a totally different experience. <laughs> like for me, I'm always like, all right, how racist is this guy gonna be? <laughs> like she always comes out looking like a Hollywood like blonde bombshell. I just look like World War II propaganda. <laughs> History class. Um, <laughs> No, but you know, so our first year of marriage has gone really well. There was one hiccup, like, in the, yeah, it, it was in the bedroom, it was related to that. Because sometimes I get in my own head, I can overthink things, I can be kind of erotic. Like, I was thinking, like, all right, what's the right amount of time she's supposed to be having sex for? Like, how long? Is it too short, too long? Like, is this the right amount of thrust? What am I doing? And I, I couldn't finish, and I was really embarrassed about it. And I, so I, I, I just started faking it for a while. <laughs> and it was humiliating, because I, I love my wife. I think she's super sexy and beautiful. Uh, but it was more humiliating when she caught me faking it. Because <laughs> she was not happy at all, but I can't blame her. You know, no one likes to be lied to and nobody likes to be spit on, so. <laughs> so, I'm a teacher. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I am a teacher, it's been a great year. Uh, I always look for like, you know, as a teacher, I want those like highlight moments where it's like a teachable moment, the kids finally clicking, getting stuff. And, you know, I had a very, like, honorary student, very disruptive at times, so I asked him, like, hey, can you please have a seat, folks at work? 
He ignored me. So the second time I was like, hey, like, this is your last warning. I'm gonna give you detention. Please focus. He ignored me again. So I said, hey, at this day, he goes, shut up, Korean bitch. <laughs> and I was just shocked that he got my ethnicity the right the first try. <laughs> All right, this is fun. Thank you guys so much. Keep it going for Josh, guys. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh, man. <laughs>